Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another large block ship. And this one is called the Kingfisher H2 Tanker, which is this lovely thing that I'm standing on top of. So this is, as you probably can guess, is a hydrogen tanker that's great for moving large amounts of hydrogen from one place to another. And if you really wanted to, you could always remove some of those hydrogen tanks, replace them with cargo containers, turn this into a long range hauler. But that's entirely up to you. Pressing F10 and finding the Kingfisher in the spawn menu. This thing is 335 large blocks using one hell of a lot of the DLC packs. We've got a nice lot of information about it on the Steam Workshop page where it clearly states what it has available on the ship and all the other good information. So go and give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, we'll have a quick look around the outside and a quick tour of the interior. Then I'll find a nearby asteroid, crash it into it because it should make a nice explosion if all these hydrogen tanks are filled up. So at the very front here, this is what we get. Front and centre, what we can see is a connector to help dock this thing up with ease to your base and it's one of many connectors all the way around this ship. On the left and right hand side, we've got hydrogen thrusters, which is the only form of thrust that appear on this ship. So you are kind of dipping into the stuff you're transporting, but then again, you won't run out for a very long time. Just above that, we can see some lovely glass windows where behind it is our control seat to drive this thing around. And behind that, we can just about make out the windows for our bed block. Dropping down just a little bit, we can see the start of many hydrogen tanks, as well as a walkway to make sure we go around, and inspect everything, repair it up if it ever took damage. Say a sneaky drone came and took some pot shots out of it you can make sure it's not going to explode anytime soon. Moving around and onto the side, we can see our beam blocks have been put to a very good use. There's some more windows here inside of our living quarters. We can see the rest of our hydrogen tanks. We see our other connected dock up on the side. A couple more hydrogen thrusters to move us around. And we see our lovely catwalks to walk all the way around from the bottom to the top. Moving all around towards the very back, this is what's going to push us along. So we've got one large hydrogen thruster and our curbed conveyors to go all the way up and then to the bottom to help move us up and down on those thrusters. If we have to look up and look down, that is all we can see. So we've got one hell of a lot of hydrogen tanks, one hell of a lot of catwalks to move us all the way around. Then towards the front, a gravity generator, a spotlight, which could always be replaced by a turret if you wanted to. And there's some windows here inside our living quarters and our bridge. Just dropping down and coming underneath it, this is all we can see. So simply the pops of our hydrogen tanks, some more thrusters, and all the conveyors linking it together. And so there we go. That's a very brief look around the outside of the Kingfisher H2. And looks great with how it's been set up. So now what I can do is just grab hold of my character. We can come down to the very bottom of this and work our way up. I think we'll start over at this. because It's going to be a dead end. So this is what we can see all the way around us. And if you are interested in the skybox I'm currently using, there will be a link to it in the description below. I believe it's called Hubblegum. Yes, it's just a rather fancy one with a lot of bright lights. So this is what we get down here so we can easily do our repair work on these hydrogen tanks. Now walk all the way around below our hydrogen thrusters. There's a couple of hydrogen engines to give this thing some additional power. There's a sneaky little beacon. Then come around over to some half stairs that lead us up to the next floor. So coming all the way up and pass over to this section, we see some conveyors there for you to link something if you need to. To say you want a survival kit, that's an easy place to put it. Just moving up these steps over to the top. Here's the rest of our hydrogen thrusters and hydrogen tanks. That's the doorway to get into our living quarters, but for the moment, we're just going to come around here and just take a quick look around on this side. So it's going to be the same on that setup. If we had to move down these steps and come over to the bottom floor once again, we'll see what we get instead of the beacon and the hydrogen engine. So from this side, we've got ourselves an O2H2 generator and there's another one right there. So we can easily load this up with ice if we find some on our way. Around at the back here, another hydrogen engine and there is our gyroscope. So now what we can do is jetpack all the way up to the top floor once again. There we go. Open up this doorway. In we come. Got an armory locker for a quick restock of ammunition in case you need it. And round through here. There we go. And this is what we get on the inside. To my right is a doorway which is going to lead us to the opposite side on the outside. We're just moving forwards. There's our two beds we saw earlier. There's a little poster. Got a little chair to sit on. I suppose our poster is acting like a TV so forgive me on that one. There's our window to appear outside. And then behind us, we've got our kitchen and counter set up. Over onto this side, another locker, a table to do your paperwork. Then around over to here, we've got our toilet and shower set up. Then moving down the steps, this is our cockpit to drive this thing around. So in first person view, we're looking all the way around. We've got one fantastic view, so we can clearly see what we're doing and where we're docking up to. Looking down onto our control panels, we can see our hydrogen and power usage, our time of day, our speed. Over there is our planet and atmosphere gravity. And then the blank one for you to set up with whatever. 
bringing up the HUD, these are the only controls we get, so number 4 is going to be for our hydrogen tanks to stop power on and off, number 5 is for our batteries to auto or recharge, number 6 is to turn off our hydrogen thrusters at the front, put us into a cruise control, so we can move forwards, we won't slow down. 7, 8 and 9 is going to be for our connectors all the way around the ship to lock and unlock it, after tab number 2, 3 and 4 we've got nothing else, so we can fly this thing around. So moving forwards, this is what we get, we've got one hell of a lot of speed, Ray cargo ship. In fact, it's so fast that you could escape most fighters. Coming to a storm, that's what we get. It's a little bit slower than moving forward, but still bloody fantastic at the end of the day. Moving left, then moving right again. Some fantastic speed with that. Moving down, and then moving up again. Fantastic speed. In fact, this is the same as moving left and right. Got the same amount of thrusters. Then wheeling my mouse around, this is what we get. Got a nice little control, there's a tiny bit of weight on here, it's not too much so it does feel a little bit floaty, but it's generally what I'd expect from a small fighter and not a freighter. But there we go, we can always turn on the gyroscopes if you're not happy with it, it's not up to your standards, but that's just personal preference at the end of the day. So one final thing to do of course is to find a nearby asteroid, this one will do quite nicely, we'll slam it into it, and that'll be that for the Kingfisher H2 tanker. And here we go, we're now approaching the asteroid, I'm going to hide the HUD, we should get a nice big explosion, hopefully, if these hydrogen tanks are nice and filled. And here we go straight into the side. And there we go, that was a nice a lot of explosions. What do we have remaining? Not much. It looks like we just got two hydrogen tanks, the rear of the ship, we got our thrusters. Just a little bit of power, we could probably get away with this. And then with a gyroscope as well, getting into the cockpit. Here we go, we can just somehow fly this thing around. We can't stop, so we will have to do a 180. We do have a very speedy double hydrogen tank tanker to go to wherever. But there we go, that is it for the Kingfisher H2. It's a fantastic little ship if you are looking to transport a large amount of hydrogen from one place to another. So say you set up a hydrogen refining base and want to get it back to your main base, say on the Earth-like planet, you can always use this ship to transport it all the way over there. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.